This hack tip is brought to you by Netflix. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're turning exhaustively long commands into shell scripts with minimal effort. Now, a shell script is basically a set of commands written for your computer's shell or command line interface. So if you're running Windows, and that's going to be, uh, say, the PowerShell or the Microsoft DOS command.com. And these aren't compiled programs, so for those, look for more powerful languages like C or Perl. But for getting the job done quickly and easily, sometimes a shell script is all you need. Now in our example, we're going to be using Bash, or the Born Again shell. It's, it's one of the more common shells you're gonna find out there in Unix operating systems. Though, to stave off a bunch of angry emails already, I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out to the C shell, or the Z shell, the corn shell, and there's a billion others. But uh, anyway, last week, you may remember that we built a command using ping and date, which would give us nice little timestamps for our ping replies. And what I'd like to do now is turn that long string of commands into a nice looking shell script. And so to do so, I'm gonna actually bring up that uh, command in my shell. Here we go, I've got it right here. And what I can do is actually pop that into an editor with the nifty keystroke, control X, control E. And there we go, I'm in nano. Well, I'm in my editor of choice. It could, of course, be Vi or Emacs or whatever you've set it to be. Uh, we could also do this with the FC command, but we're gonna come back to that powerful command another time. I like this key combo, I think it works great. We'll need to prepend our command with a shebang. A shebang is sometimes called a hashbang, and it's a sequence that specifies which interpreter to use when executing the script. The she is supposedly short for sharp or hash, as in a pound sign, uh, and the bang being a exclamation point. Now, this is followed by the path to our interpreter. So since we're using bash, that'd be in slash bin slash sh. All right, so our first line is pound exclamation point slash bin slash sh. And from here, we can go ahead and pretty up our script if we want by, you know, say replacing these uh, semicolons here with uh, some carriage returns. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look so much better already? I don't know. This is where you could get really complex with your uh, script if you really wanted to. Now here in Nano, we can actually save the file out and give it a name by just doing control O and I'm gonna s save it in slash root slash, I don't know, let's call it dateping.sh for shell script. It doesn't have to be .sh, I just like to do it that way. And I'll say yes, and there we go. Now, in just a bit, we're gonna go ahead and finish our script, test it out, but first, let's take a quick break. With Netflix, the world's largest subscription streaming service, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies to your Microsoft Xbox 360, the Sony PS3 console, the Nintendo Wii console, and your computer for one low monthly price. No late fees, no due dates, and for a limited time, Hack5 viewers can get a free 30-day trial membership at netflix.com slash hack5. Sign up now and be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. Now that our file has been saved, we can actually go ahead and quit the nano editor with control X. And we'll actually notice here that our script is gonna go ahead and begin executing, which is nice, but for this example, we wanna run it, our newly created file. So I'm gonna go ahead and control C, stop that guy over here, clear the screen. All right, now we're already in our home directory if we weren't just CD to navigate there. And if we actually look for our .sh file with ls tack l star .sh, I can go ahead and see that our file isn't executable. I can tell this because I don't see an X right here that would say it has execution privileges. And um, I can also tell, and it's quite obvious in this shell because it hasn't been highlighted in green like my other scripts here. Now to make the file executable, we're gonna want to use the chmod command to change the mode. And we could probably spend all day talking about the numeric representations of modes in regards to users groups and everything else. But since we simply just wanna make this executable for ourselves, what we're gonna do is just use the plus operator along with the X operator for, so plus is to add and then X is for the execute mode. So chmod date ping, or I'm sorry, it's chmod plus X and then our file, there we go. So now if we reissue ls tack l star.sh, we can see that not only is it green, but it has our X's. So it is executable and finally with our file all ready to go, 
just a matter of invoking the complete path and file name. And since the file is actually in our current working directory, we can go ahead and just use the shortcut period or dot followed by a slash and then the file name. So that's, uh, let's see, date, ping, And there we go, Bob's your uncle, Robert's your mother's brother, and there you have it. This of course means that, uh, that I'm looking forward to your feedback. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys use, what programs, what commands, what scripts rock your world. Hit us up, tips at hack5.org, or simply just leave a comment below. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno lust. programs they're kind of you know they're, they're, uh, as the name implies script <laughs>